What's up guys, welcome to Iron Mustang. On today's video, we're going to be installing the air intake. Um, kind of excited to get this one in and filmed because a bunch of my other videos are kind of waiting on me finishing this up. So let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna be working with an Edelbrock RPM air gap. Um, these are supposed to be like the ones to run for a street car. If you're doing a race car, you want to single plant them usually, but uh, we're just trying to do a fun street car. So we're going to run this dual plenum. Um, so let me show you guys a few things I got going on here. I use some of the studs off a of one inch spacer I had laying around. They're a little longer just to use them as guide pins in the four corners. And so I got these mag shims from fast cap woodworking thing, but they work real good for figuring out what a gap is. They're all magnetic and stackable. So I've already went through and kind of figured out that's about how thick I need to make my bead for my gasket across the bottom. And I'm going to pull it off real quick and show you guys some of the porting work I did. I'll just show you guys what I did. I mean, hopefully it makes a power difference, but if not, you know, a little peace of mind. Um, I did it myself, whatever, you know. So here in the plenum, I went ahead and I rounded all the corners in and kind of knife edged the center here. Now, from watching other people's videos, when you remove this on these dual plenums, it seems to uh, kind of damage your power, lower it. So I left it, but I shaped it. I don't know, leave me a comment. What do you guys think? And then on the bottom here, I went ahead and I did widen all my ports and um, port matched it as opposed to gats get matching it and um, yeah I took off a quite a chunk of material and tried to try to get down in there the best I could with a sander and just smooth everything out with a, I think I, I think I went to like 220 grit I know when you're doing a, a wet air intake which all carburetors are basically because you're putting wet fuel down them as opposed to injecting them lower down here where it shoots straight into the uh, the cylinder that you don't want them to be too polished and these dual plenums if you got better tools than me yeah you could probably do a better job in reaching in there but these are tricky to reach in with a with a six inch mandrel and uh, some air tools so anyways this is a uh, this is what I got I hogged them out I made them bigger they match pretty nice I'm kind of content with this what kind of number improvements I'm going to get out of it? Uh, Who knows? The only way to do it is really dyno test it before and after, and that's kind of not something I was really able to do. So, so one thing I'm going to do here real quick. Um, some people say it's not necessary, but uh, honestly, I don't like it. Um, I'm going to trim these real quick up to the edge of the water jacket. I don't like that. I think... Uh, it's kind of restricting the water flow. Is it necessary? I don't know. Um, hard to say. Some gaskets don't have material there, some do. Obviously, I'm sure it would work with an out trimming it. Is it gonna make my engine run hotter? I don't know. So these little tabs here, I kind of bent them down a little bit. I'll adjust them here before we finish, just to kind of match things up. Um, and I'm like I said, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use the RTV here, I am. and I'm not sure where I seen it, but I'm pretty sure something I had read or watched said that when you're doing a boosted application, you are not supposed to be using the cork. You're supposed to only use the RTV. And I'm sure some of you guys are wondering where my push rods are. Um, sent them back. I ordered 80 thou wall thickness uh, push rods and found out that I should have been running some 120s. So that's part of the reason I didn't install the intake to after the engine was in, because in these 351s, there is a chance that these can completely come out. And I didn't want to have to be bothering with that. Although it's probably a slim chance. It had a tilt engine pretty damn steep. But I did go through and make sure all these are seated. And I'll just do the push rod installation through the heads uh, once those come in. And that's what it looked like after I trimmed them. Honestly, those back ones, probably not necessary at all. No water goes through them. Um, if you remember when we put the head gaskets on, that 
they're blocked off on the back so anyway probably a waste of time definitely was a waste of time but I did anyway all right so we are going to be using the Permatex ultra gray today so I'm gonna get my gaskets here now we're gonna put a little bit of this on the back side uh, around the water jackets we're gonna do the same thing to the other side it's kind of just a little insurance here to make sure our water jackets don't leak now we're gonna go in and put a little on the top of the gasket around the water jackets Remember, this is the thickness we're going for here. We want to make sure we get it nice and thick in the corners there. Now, I did go ahead and put myself a little, uh, little bit of tape there, just in case I, you know. Just a smidge in these corners right there. All right, now we're aiming for one shot straight down. And I think I like it. I'm gonna take a little anesthes, get it all threads of these bolts here. Now, first thing we're gonna do is just hand tighten the all. Right, so there's a torque sequence. We're gonna follow it. Take it up to 200 inch pounds. So off camera, I went in and I kind of cleaned that up with my finger a little bit. I think it, uh, I think it looks pretty good. Obviously, we're getting blow by. I don't know we messed it up, but I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, so while we're here, we're going to go ahead and throw in the studs for the carburetor. So I really would have loved to run an open spacer on here, but by the time I got the carb, the air hat, and the bolt on, actually not counting the bolt, just from the top of the air hat, I only have 11 sixteenths of an inch till the top of my hood. And honestly, cutting into that hood is not an option. So I got this Felpro gasket, which is a little more rubbery feeling, like it would probably give a better seal versus this four hole one. Let me know you guys' thoughts. Like I said, uh, I know the open spacer usually produce more power on these dual plenum manifolds, but I just don't have the space for it. So. At this point, it is what it is. Um, it's not a race car. We're not trying to make all, the absolute most power. We're just trying to make a whole bunch of it. All right, so at this point, I think it is very important. Put your carburetor on. The one, gosh damn it, it just makes it look super cool. The two, keeps the buggies, critters, and any bolts you might drop out of your manifold because now they wouldn't be that fun to fish out. All right, so when you're running a boosted engine, you're supposed to use a O-ring style gasket here. Still need to trim this bowl. I think that might, uh, like I said, from the top of this hat, I got 11 16ths to the top of my hood. That was excluding the bolt thickness. 
So we're cutting it pretty close here, but we're gonna, I'm gonna throw some paper towels in some of these holes just to kind of block them off and throw the little nuts here on the studs and call it done. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that one. It was a little quicker getting there done. Um, I gotta leave on a trip with the family tomorrow morning and uh, wanted to make sure I knocked this out. And um, hopefully while I'm away, I can start working on um, processing some of my videos to actually get them out. Uh, I think I only have, as of filming this, I think I only have the very first video for the engine build series out. So uh, I need to get some more of them out. But I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch them. Hopefully they're helpful to you guys. You guys learn something from it, whether it's what not to do or, you know, maybe give you some advice for a situation. Anybody who's building something similar to this can, uh, can use something from it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell icon, and I'll catch you on the next one.